Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Express.js and MySQL CRUD tutorial for beginners. In the last episode, we went over the overview of Express.js and MySQL. We installed all the dependencies and the required modules. Today, we will work on the database side. We will create database, we'll create a table, and we will also establish a connection between Express.js and MySQL which will be essentially the first step that you would do when you want to learn CRUD operation for Express.js and MySQL. That being said, let's get started. So following is the index. Uh, we are on episode number two. If you have missed out on the episode number one, I will request you to kindly go through it because that's where we have done the initial setup. Today, we will be doing the database setup, table creation and connectivity. Let's get started. So I have my MySQL instance here. I'm using this graphical interface, which is PHP my admin tool. You can also download it and use it. Or if you are using MySQL Studio or natively, if you want to run queries, that's also fine. Whichever way the idea is to create a database. So I'm going to create a database and I'm going to call it, um, let's say uh, issues, right? And let's go ahead, create that and create a table and I'm going to call it tickets and add four columns. Um, let's just give simple, I'll keep it simple. The idea is not to create a huge database table or anything. The point is to have some database table so that we can run and learn how to write the, quer uh, the queries and using the CRUD operation. So title, description, and let's say uh, a boolean value right so I'm going to say active yes or no so we can write an enum for it right or you can make it boolean so there are different uh, values that you can uh, set and use okay now this I'm going to make it primary and make it auto increment so that way it's a primary column okay so simple nothing fancy fancy uh, this I'll make it var char this to and give some values okay all right so I have one integer and two strings and one boolean value that's all this table will do a simple table we have we have a database called issues and we have a table called tickets which has these four um, columns okay so that's how my SQL table is ready now let's work on the Express.js code and establish the connectivity between Express.js and MySQL. So these are all the required prerequisites I had written in the last episode. So now we will extend this code and write the MySQL connectivity. So for that, I'm going to say const db equal to, since we imported the MySQL connectivity library, here you can see the options are create connection. So we are going to use the create connection and define the parameters. And for that, I'm going to write host. Now, this is where you will write the host name. What is the host name for your MySQL? Okay, and then you can also pass port. So now, which port are you running in? That's something that you need to check on your local instance where you have connected. Mine is running on 8889. That's the default one that MAMP would run on. Okay, so I have a username and I have a password also, just the dummy ones I have set on my local. Now, once you have it, then all you need to mention is then the database that you will be working on. And our database name is issues, okay? All right, so that's all you will need to establish a connection between Express.js and MySQL. Pretty simple, straightforward. You're mentioning that your table, your database name, your username, password, and port number. Once you have this detail, the next step is to check whether this database connection is properly working or not. So you will write db.connect, okay? And here you're going to have a callback method, okay? If it fails, you're going to throw in a error, okay? And you'll check here, if error, console.log enable I hope you can see the screen now enable to connect to db okay if there is no error 
then you can just write one more console error and say database connected successfully okay so that's all you need to do to establish the connectivity between Express and MySQL first you will define create connection and this is where you will give all the parameters like host port name user password and database once you have done that you would then do db.connect that means connect to the MySQL instance if you are able to connect give the message that it was connected successfully else error it out now let's try this code out so I am inside Express JS and run node so now you see here it says database connected successfully all right so that's all basically you need to connect to uh, your MySQL from Express.js. Do give it a try. Let me know if you see any issues or errors. I'll be happy to help you. In the next episode, we will start writing the CRUD operation, basically the create new resource. Thank you for joining. See you in the next episode.